I'm here to break down Robert Whittaker versus Drickus de Plessis that just happened last weekend. Let's get right into it. Let's start off with what Robert Whittaker did wrong. In this matchup, Robert Whittaker was headhunting too much. 74% of his strikes were to the head, 6 to the body, and 19% to the leg. Drickus de Plessis knew this coming into this fight. It was great game planning by his coaches to realize that, and all he had to do in this matchup was just to have a high guard, as Robert Whittaker in his previous fights also has a low percentile to the body, and Drickus de Plessis knew this phenomenally. Great game planning by the coaches of Drickus de Plessis. What Robert Whittaker should have done in this matchup was go to the body more, mix it in with his kicks mid combination and then in the inside go to the body because like I said Drickus de Plessis knew that Robert Whittaker only threw to the head and legs and not very much to the body as you can see by a significant strike percentile 44% of his significant strikes landed only 23 out of 59 only landed to the head not the best shot selection and game planning by Bobby Knuckles in this match but let's get on to how Drickus de Plessis won this fight the thing I noticed massively in this matchup against Robert Whittaker, he didn't give anything up for free. He went after Robert Whittaker after Robert Whittaker landed something clean or landed a kick on him and he'd immediately go after him and land something back. That's one thing I love about Drickus de Plessis' style as it doesn't let him get behind on the judges' scorecards and he's always w wanting to inflict damage on his opponents. Another great piece of game planning was Drickus de Plessis throwing that outside lead leg kick. Amazing, amazing game planning from his team once again. This allowed for him to control the outside lead uh, foot positioning and it allowed him to uh, counter Robert Whittaker's jab. Robert Whittaker is known to have one of the best jabs in the division and it allowed for him to take away one of his key, key techniques. Robert Whittaker was one of the guys that, were, that was out jabbing Israel Adesanya over five rounds with a seven inch reach disadvantage. Great game planning once again by Drickus de Plessis, one of the main, main stories in this matchup. So the way Drickus de Plessis stopped Robert Whittaker was from the southpaw position. Drickus de Plessis switched stances many times in this matchup and showed different looks to Robert Whittaker as throughout the whole bout. But he took a note from Jared Cannonier in this fight. Jared Cannonier dropped Robert Whittaker when they first fought. Robert Whittaker was hurt badly by Jared Cannonier in their fight from a jab in the southpaw position. And Drickus de Plessis did his tape and implemented this in this fight. The main way Drickus de Plessis was able to land the jab from the southpaw position was by using his footwork in this fight. He was basically able to cover more distance. He would step with his rear foot first, which you're not really meant to do, but it allows him to cover more distance because if you step with your rear foot first, you bring your feet closer together and that means you can step further with your uh, front foot and allows for you to cover more distance and that's basically how he got within striking distance off Whitaker with that jab many times in this fight. He also changed the timing on these jabs phenomenally well and, and jabbed uh, using an offbeat tempo. Two seconds before it, Drickus de Plessis tries and lands a jab but doesn't use the footwork I've been telling you about. He doesn't step for first with his rear foot, he just steps first with his right foot, his front foot, but misses. But watch the finishing sequence and what he does very closely. He will step first with his back foot and then step second with his front foot to cover more distance. And look at how he changes tempo in this finishing sequence. Very high level stuff from Drickus de Plessis here. And that was how Drickus de Plessis found the finish against Robo Whittaker last Saturday night. If you guys enjoyed this type of content, please like, subscribe, comment with your thoughts on this video. It'll be much appreciated. I put a lot of time into these videos every week for you guys. So if you can hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. That'll be much appreciated. If you like this, I would advise you to go and watch the John Jones one I have on this against Lyoto Machida. 
I broke that down. I broke how John Jones found the finish against uh, Lyoto Machida in that fight. So if you like this, go and watch that video afterwards. But for now, guys, I will see you later. Have a good day. Peace.